Hey folks, in this video I want to show you a reamping setup with the Kemper. Besides a guitar, a Kemper profiling amp and your recording software, you might need an audio interface or similar device, as well as some appropriate cables. In this case I'm using Reason 8, a Focusrite Sapphire 6 USB interface, three instrument cables and one of these XLR 2 chinch cables. Let's have a look at the routing. Obviously the guitar goes straight into the front input of the camper. Then we connect one camper main out to the input of the interface and the camper direct out to another interface input. The main output signal will provide a reference and it feels a lot better to have a processed sound while tracking guitars later. The direct out delivers an unprocessed signal which we want to reamp afterwards. To send the signal back to the camper we will need to connect one output of the interface with the camper's return input. According to the two input signals we have, I create two audio channels to record both at the same time and we get two individual mono audio tracks. Okay, I have recorded a little section here and we have now our reference track and our unprocessed track. To send the letter back to the camper, we have to activate the corresponding output of the interface. Go to Edit, Preferences, Audio and Active Audio Channels to activate them. You should notice the active outputs now on the audio I.O. on the back of the rack. Now connect the track with the unprocessed audio to a free output. To prepare the camper for reamping, press and hold the input button on the top left and set the input source to reamp return. Let's see what we've got so far. Ok, now adjust the reamping sense control until the reamped track sounds similar to the reference track. You also might need to carefully adjust the input gain of the DI channel if necessary. I will stay mono in this example, but if you want to use tones with some stereo effects like reverb or certain delays and such, 
You should additionally connect the campus second main output to your interface to set up a stereo track recording now. Okay, and now the fun part is we can adjust amps and settings on the fly while listening back. I'm using the Camper Rig Manager now to go through some presets. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment and subscribe if you like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know. Cheers for watching.